Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Python-I, which is a really cool flag to Python, and I find it very useful for debugging. Uh, now, dash I stands for interactive, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to interact with a script or module uh, after it is imported. Um, and you can use this to basically poke around a module and see what things do. Uh, I recently used this while working on a library that I wrote called Cub Defaults. Uh, Cub Defaults provides some you know, defaults for <laughs> We're running coverage and um, I've actually covered Python-I in a lot of other videos, uh, but I've never really called it out explicitly, so I wanted to set aside a separate video to talk about it directly. Uh, I'm going to use devm to set up my virtual environment and uh, I was playing around with one of the functions in the cub defaults module and trying to perfect it. And if we do python3-i cub defaults, this will allow us to load this module and then immediately enter our interactive prompt here. And so you can see here, we have all of the names that are available in the module, and so we can call the ones that we care about. And the one that I was playing around with is this LT function, uh, which <laughs> generates regular expressions for uh, numbers that are less than a particular number. I'm sure there's some code golf to this, but this was the, the implementation that I came up with. Uh, but I was basically just trying to get some quick answers to like, what does my code generate? Uh, I was also writing tests on the side, so this can kind of be used in place of tests or along with tests, depending on uh, what, you're, what you're trying to aim for there. But it basically allows you to poke around modules as you run them. Now, there are a couple of caveats here and some other stuff you might want to take into uh, consideration here. So I ran it as a script here. You can also run things as modules, and I tend to... I haven't done a video on this yet, but I, I will at some point. I tend to encourage always running as modules and never as scripts, because uh, scripts have some weird, some kind of weird Python path stuff in, uh, associated with them. But you can also run as modules and do interactive here. So you can see we did dash i dash m with cub defaults, and you know we still have we still have those same uh, you know functions here and can generate those uh, just fine. One other caveat is if you're working with interactive scripts, so uh, let's grab another module that actually has an interactive script. Is T pretty? And if we do Python dash I dash M is T pretty, is pretty actually provides a command line interface. And so when run with no arguments, oops, Python three, when run with no arguments, it's actually going to raise an exception while it tries to do whatever command line parsing. And this will, you know, this will happen, and it's it's a little annoying. Uh, but you can just ignore it because we still have access to all of the names that are still available here. So if we did uh, ast dot parse x equals one, and we can still call our special pprint function on that. So even though even though this crashed on startup, you can kind of just ignore it <laughs> and uh, and still chug along and do do whatever you need to do here. Um, but yeah, that's Python dash i, the interactive flag to Python and how you can use it to uh, debug scripts or modules after they've imported. Hopefully, you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.